Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial So in this video we'll be learning about an effect called paint bucket that can be used to add some funky enhancements to our text layer So the first thing is to create a text layer I'll click on this T button and create some random text I'll name this sample text and from the effects and presets panel that I have on the right I'll type in paint bucket so I have this effect called paint bucket in the generate folder I'll drag this onto my text layer so now you can see that the paint bucket effect is added in the effects and controls tab and you have an option called fill point so I'll drag this fill point to this portion here and you have an option of choosing color here I'll change the color to you know blue like this and I'll hold control on my keyboard and hit D so that it gets duplicated. I can now drag this fill point to another text character and now I can change this color to something that I want. In addition to this we have different options. I'll duplicate this once again. I'll hold control on my keyboard and hit D so that it gets duplicated and now I'll move it to the gap that is between these two portions and I'll change the color okay I'll duplicate it once again I'll move to this letter here and in the stroke instead of anti alias I'll change this to stroke and I'll change this color to orange and now I can increase the stroke width so that it looks something like this. So you can duplicate this paint bucket effect multiple times and add another stroke effect. I'll change the stroke value to choke so that the stroke happens something like this to the inner side of the text character. I'll change this color. Okay. So basically you can apply the paint bucket effect to three portions of the text character. So you can add it directly to the text letter like this or you can add it to the gap between the text letter or you can either apply it to the background. I definitely feel that the paint bucket effect would come in handy whenever you are trying to create some funky text. In your project i hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram see you guys next time with another tutorial